Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is 12 11 2023. It's about 8 a.m. right now. I went ahead and woke up not too long ago, slammed down two cups of coffee, kind of just got in the right mindset and stuff like that, man. I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower. And then after that, I'm about to come back down and hop on the charts. I already got pretty much all my levels marked out for uh, all the stuff I'm watching. I did that yesterday. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'll probably be recording from my uh, desktop next time uh, I pick up the recording, guys. So let's get it today. We're going to crush the market. We're going to crush it this week. And uh, all that good stuff, man. Let's get it. All right, guys. We got all the levels marked out and everything on watch today. This is everything we got on watch today. AI, AMD, INTC, WJN, KSS, NVIDIA, PINs, QQ, and SPA. We got all these on watch today. Got all my levels marked out. Got all my alerts set, man. We got about seven minutes till market opens. We're going to crush it today. We're going to kill it today in the market. So keep you guys updated if I take any trades or I see any potential setups, man. So yeah, let's get it. Let's kill it today. Yo, it's about 11.15 a.m. right now. I got a little bit of an update for you guys right now. I did take a big loss here on my TD Ameritrade account. As you can see, I'll put it up on the screen now. I don't have a picture of my Discord. But then we did get this win here on QQQ. I made about almost 40% here on QQQ. Only two trades I have taken so far for the day. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, As I said, it's about 11.15 right now. Um, should have taken puts here, but it's whatever, man. Um, as always, keep you guys updated, and yeah. Yo, boys, as you can see, it's about 3.19 p.m. right now. We're at work, man. Uh, you know, obviously, I haven't taken any more trades in the market. I didn't pick up the recording again. I'm sorry about that, but uh, today it was not the best day. Not how I exactly wanted to start out the week, but, you know, it's all good, man. Uh, we're going to have losses. We're going to learn from these mistakes, and we've got to get this shit because I'm honestly trying to quit this job and really pursue my dream, bro, and... Like, it's just, I need to lock in with trading, bro. I really, really, really need to lock in with trading. I'm journaling today. I think I know where I am really going wrong. I think it's slowly starting to come to me, and I'm slowly starting to figure out my strategy. But you just got to give me time with this thing, man. So I'll get out of work around 10.30 p.m. tonight. Actually, I changed my schedule, so we're getting out a little bit earlier. I'm going to go hit the gym. I'm going to hit a crazy, crazy, crazy leg day. Like, I swear to God, this is the most craziest workout I've ever hit. I'm going to hit it with my boy, Ben. Um, so I'll hit you guys once I get out of work. And, yeah, man, let's get it. Nah, hold up.
Holy shit, bro. Whew. Dude, no. I'm sorry, I got a bitch on the plus side. I'm sorry, bro. I can't do it. Fuck. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get back to my workout, all right? All right, it's bro. It's music, right? Yeah, bro. I... Else? Nah, bro. Music made me be locked in. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna... <sighs>
I was like, I wasn't really like completely loyal to her, obviously, if I have to be honest. What? I wasn't really completely, Oof. I wasn't the nah, uh, I, I mean, control this she shit. wasn't loyal either. She was still talking to her ex, and I was still doing my thing, she so. She was talking to my friend, too. Who? <laughs> David, remember David? What the David? fuck? Yeah, and then I broke, I broke up with her in January, so. <sighs> You need to get you a loyal girl, a loyal girl, Omar. Oh God. I don't want. I don't want. I don't. I don't want. I don't want like <sighs> the thing with me is that. Omar wants those. She doesn't want a girl. Yet. Oh shit. I'm not settling down right now if I'm moving out of Winchester. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm not doing no long distance shit. No. No. You could. You could lead on something like you're about to date her and then heal. <laughs> Actually, I did that before. All right, so that's actually gonna be it for the leg day today. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a little bit of core. But as you guys know, if you watch my previous leg videos, I never be recording core. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit two to three things for core and then um, pick up the camera once I get back in the car or once I get home. Yo guys, we are home. It's about 1.05 a.m. right now. As you can see, I got my mozzarella sticks here. Dude, these surprisingly have a lot. Dude, all these together, I'm not even joking, is probably about 30 grams of protein and like almost a thousand calories, bro. Like they're like crazy, bro. Um, I'm actually out of protein powder. I need to get more, so I've been slacking with that. I meant to get today, but I'm going to get it tomorrow. I'm about to go hot ahead and hop on my PC, uh, review some trades, and also maybe get started on editing this vlog. Trying to go bed, go to bed around 2 a.m. So I will update you guys um, before I go to bed or maybe just in between uh, reviewing trades and editing the video, stuff like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to go over my losing trades, and maybe this is something that I'll do. It's going to be new, obviously. I've never done this before. Kind of want to go over with you guys why I think I had a red day today and why I lost on these trades. Have it all typed out. I always do this at the end of every trading day. Um, you know, I haven't actually been doing it that much. As you can see, the last time I did it, oh, was wait, yeah, sorry, that was yesterday. But I just haven't a lot of time in with work, gym, YouTube, trading. I've just haven't been able to have time to do this. But we're gonna get back on it. Um, you know, it's really, really good. So basically, sorry, what I was saying is um you know i do journal throughout the day with uh, a pen in my notebook and stuff like that journal all my trades always do that and then at the end of the day i always take screenshots of my trades as you can see here go back on the charts review them and actually review them again and think where i went wrong or what i did right what i could have done better i'm gonna stop rambling y'all get the gist man let's go over here and uh take a look at my loss number one which is your qqq so I did take a very big loss on QQQ because I was trying to short at a key resistance and supply zone on QQQ off the one minute chart. But we were also very close to VWAP and we were in an overall higher time frame bullish trend on QQQ. And intraday I would say we're pretty bullish too. I don't know. So given that I should have only been looking for buys for QQQ. I don't even know why I was trying to short QQQ above VWAP. Even though we did have that little bit of a double top. I don't really use double tops. I don't really use any patterns in the charts. I kind of, you know, do not use that. But um, I honestly should have been looking for buys. And I also should have been just waiting for a pullback to VWAP. And then looking for a buy opportunity off VWAP. Or around this little intraday support here on the one minute. Should have been waiting for that. Should have been looking for buys, as I just said. Rather than sells, because that is the overall trend. What trend was intraday. Yeah, As you can see, I said here. Instead, I should have waited for that pullback to VWAP. Then got a long position. Once we closed the near one minute candle off VWAP because we were in an overall uptrend and had bullish pressure and buying pressure on the day, which would have been a much smarter, better risk to reward play. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where I really, really went wrong on QQQ was just trying to short the market, um, you know, above VWAP in an overall very bullish trend and stuff like that. I think that's where I really, really went long wrong on there. Should have been looking for buys instead of sells. And uh, my last number two on AI. You know, I took uh, uh took calls into a strong resistance zone here on QQQ, uh strong resistance supply zone. Oh no, sorry, on AI, a strong resistance in supply zone here on AI. When the overall trend on AI is actually bearish, 
So yet again, I was trying to buy into a key resistance and supply zone. I actually was up about 10% on this trade on AI. And I guess I should have just got out with my 10% and been happy with that because I was trying to literally long back into high of day where we had a rejection and previous strong resistance and supply zone. If you were to go back on to the chart, you would see we do have strong resistance and supply there on AI. I was trying to take a long into that zone, which is obviously very stupid. I should have been looking for another short opportunity. As you can see, if we if I would have gotten in here, this would have been a very, very, very nice short opportunity here on AI. Would have been a much higher risk to reward play, less risky play. Um, you know, my stop probably would have been right above high day, right above this key resistance and supply zone. Would have been a much smarter overall play. Y'all get what I'm saying here if you trade. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where I went wrong on um, AI. Long story short, I was trying to uh, buy into a key resistance and supply zone. Overall bearish trend. Should have been looking for sells instead of buys. Um, and then my win on QQQ, which, you know, was actually a pretty decent win. Um... Uh, let's go over what I did right on this trade. And this is how I should be trading and I need to be trading and I should have been trading the whole day. So I said only winning trade we had on the day, but everything about the setup lined up to and added up to be an A plus setup because we came down to retest VWAP in an overall bullish trend on the higher time frame. And also intraday, we were bullish. So once we close that one minute candle around VWAP, which is actually a nice candle, it was a decent candle. I should have got, uh, I mean, I should have, I, sh I got in for calls and being super confident because all those confluences in this trade, um, you know, I took profit around high day, which is a really, really smart area to take profit. You know, as you can see, um, you know, we, this probably went a little bit more, probably went a hundred, maybe over a hundred percent if I held a little bit more, but it's all good. I'm happy with 50%. Um, and this is how we need to be trading. And what it was done well, as I said, it was trading with the overall trend on higher time frames. Also, intraday, we were bullish, waiting for a pullback in the uptrend and getting that confluence of VWAP to get into the trade with a nice bullish one-minute candle closing off that VWAP and also taking profit on high day, which was the right high risk reward and smartest play. Um, I'm going to start going over these and reviewing this with you guys more. Um, you know, I've been recording this for five minutes, but this is really going to also help me get a better understanding of why I'm losing and what I can do to improve and also be clear with you guys and maybe even help you guys, um, you know, improve your trading because this is what you need to be doing. You need to be obsessed with the charts. You need to be reviewing. You need to be learning from your losses without, you can't, you can't win without losing, man. Like it's li this is literally a part of trading. It's a part of the process. Trading is a big learning curve. I mean, with anything you can make this much money from and have this much freedom with, it's going to be hard, bro. Trading is literally one of the hardest, easiest ways to make money. Only traders know what that means. And I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory to know what it means. But I mean, yeah, that was pretty much it for the day, man. Um, I know we're going to crush it tomorrow. Today was only the first day of the week. We still have this whole week to crush the market. We know where we went wrong. We're going to learn from these trade, uh, these mistakes. I'm probably going to review these again tomorrow morning just so I'm locked in and really, really know where I went wrong yesterday and where we need to lock in tomorrow to improve our trading and make it the best possible trading day and experience ever. So I'm going to actually be heading to bed soon. It's about 2 a.m. So I actually may just go ahead and end this vlog here, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe button. I love y'all so much, man, if you made it to the end of the video. Uh, if you guys, uh, I think I already said if you're new, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. My bad, guys. I really honestly hate saying that because honestly, I just do this as my passion, man. Like, this is my passion, like YouTube, trading, you know, um, just my journey, man. I love to record it and just, uh, it's really just for me, man. But I love y'all and appreciate y'all for supporting the videos, guys. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, man.